welcome welcome back to a different opinion i hope everyone's had a lovely lovely day i mean it's so cold here at the moment that's why i got my jumper on I got my long sleeves on me living in new zealand for a long time where i live now this is probably only the third time i've ever had to wear a jumper um which is pretty much you know like a hoodie yeah it's quite interesting it's it's good though you know not used to the cold weather but i digress um i hope you guys do enjoy the content if you have been enjoying the content you know please subscribe to the channel um it definitely helps and then it'll help you see the videos as well in the future. Leave a like or a dislike on on my videos as well. Like if you dislike it, you know, everyone has their opinions. And if you want to pop your opinions in the comments as well, um, if I do get things wrong or if you disagree, let me know for sure. It's, it's always good to find out different opinions on everything. So on this one here, it's on sporting news. I've uh, just seen it today. It is the unfolding, the ever, ever unfolding story of... Brittany Griner and obviously she is the WNBA player um, which is worth millions of dollars who went to Russia and got caught with a little bit of cannabis oil for a vape so obviously the laws are different in every country this is the thing I don't understand about a lot of this is people are just like why is she going to jail for blah 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 for just having a little bit of you know cannabis oil blah 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 whatever it is THC and I mean every country is different in some countries, like in Singapore, it's literally a lashing and also five to ten years in prison. I mean, if you go to Middle East, you do these things, you are going to be in a lot of trouble. I mean, prison for many years. I know that is even if you take some drugs into certain countries, it's even the death penalty. So for everyone to just think that every country just lives under the same laws really, really kind of frustrates me. I mean, it really makes me think... How many countries have you traveled to? How many cultures do you know about? Because everyone's so enthralled in their own world, I believe, these days that they don't understand that there's different cultures and different laws for different cultures. Because, you know, some countries are not as far progressive as, let's say, in America or in Australia. Whereas in even a lot of laws here in Australia are very old compared to American laws, for example, and vice versa. But I'll jump straight into it. Brittany Griner makes direct appeal to President Joe Biden. I'm terrified I might be here forever, she says. She writes in a letter from Russia from seven hours ago. She sent a handwritten letter to President Joe Biden on Monday asking him to help her, help free her from detention in Russia. Isn't it funny? If this is just a normal person who's not worth millions of dollars, who is not famous, a WNBA player, I mean, not that many people watch WNBA, but... You know, she's still famous, more famous than anyone else, and she's worth a couple million dollars. So it's funny how this is, you know, mainstream news. Oh, you little crazy cat. Um, how this is mainstream news. Yeah, sorry about that. That's a little Stan, a little crazy cat. And how this is mainstream news, and for people that are getting caught around the world for America for similar things, they don't get the opportunity to get a letter seen by the president. No way. What a joke. And I believe the person that Russia is asking for to trade him with is actually an arms dealer who got caught in America. I mean, this person's way more dangerous, should not be out there. He got caught selling, you know, millions upon millions of dollars worth of guns. They want to trade him for a WNBA player. I mean, man, if this was me, this is not a very smart trade at all. Griner's representatives passed a message along to the White House and made excerpts of the letter public. As I sit here in Russia prison alone with my thoughts and without the protection of my wife, family, friends, Olympic jersey or any accomplishments, I'm terrified I might be here forever, she wrote. She also noted that the concept of freedom meant something completely different to her this 4th of July. On the 4th of July, our family normally honours the service of those men who fought for our freedom, including my farmer, my father, who is a Vietnam War veteran. It hurts thinking about how I usually celebrate this day because freedom means something completely different to me this year. It's unclear how the letter from Griner's jail cell outside Moscow to the White House reported that Griner has been able to send messages to her friends and family, but Russian officials, Russian officials have monitored the correspondence. So I'll jump into an opinion piece by the Blue Conservative from March 7th, Haley Sanibel. So despite allegedly happening a few weeks ago, news is now circulating that the standout is being detained. Obviously, we know about that. So let me be clear about one thing. I don't care about the story, she says. I care only about using it to advance a sane response to the absolutely insane religious zealotry believed and practiced by the leftists. So remember, this is an opinion piece. Moreover, I hope Griner 
languishes in a prison cell allow me to explain. In the summer of 2020, followed a drug overdose by George Floyd, Griner explained that she would be protesting the, playing the national anthem, anthem before games by remaining in the locker room. She went on to say that, I honestly feel we should not play the national anthem during our season. I think we should take that much of a stand. Her father being a Vietnam veteran, you would think that she would actually have a bit of respect for the national anthem, I guess. I mean, there are some people that, you know, left Vietnam with what happened and just realizing that they were just pawns in a losing chess match, really, because America shouldn't have been there in the first place, I guess. Neither should France. France have never should have been there. They should have, America should have noticed we're not backing the French. The communists are not going to just take over the whole east um, of Asia, but I digress. So before that, Grino felt called to social activism when Republican-led states sought to restrict male pedophiles from entering women's restrooms. Despite her young age and limited impact anywhere, one article even promoted her to one of the most influential social activists in sports history because of it. It said in part, in 2017, Griner, one of a handful of WNBA athletes who have publicly identified themselves as lesbian, took a bold stand with another WNBA player, Laisha Cledon, co-writing an op-ed article against a bill in Texas that would have limited the rights of members of the LGBTQ community to use restrooms and other public facilities of their choice. So pretty much they can just choose whichever one they want to go in. The two basketball stars saw the bill as a particular threat to the LGBTQ athletes who would have been forced to use a locker room inconsistent with their gender identity. While we do not identify as transgender, we know that it feels to be singled out and for not fitting neatly into social norms, they wrote. So that's just two of the prominent examples. I can safely be concluded the wealthy, famous, pampered groaner lives for a life of once unimaginable luxury. But um, yeah, so it's, it's just one of those ones again where, I mean, it doesn't make any sense for America to trade literally a person selling millions of dollars of lethal guns illegally within the country to a WNBA player who literally speaks against her own country. It's funny that when, when in hindsight, I mean, you could really say that she hates her country apparently, but then as soon as, you know, she's in a bit of a struggle, suddenly, no, 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 actually, can I actually have help from this country that I supposedly do not like and I do not stand for the national anthem? Um, it just amazes me that it just happens more and more in this world. I mean, people disrespect their own country, but when it comes down to it, for example, something like this, or if you're a prisoner of war or whatever it is, you know, then that's suddenly when the chips fall on the table and you say, okay, hold on, you know, I, I'm, I'm actually really sorry. I never meant what I, what I said, but if a lot of people never hit this point and then they actually just keep getting worse and worse and hating their country more and more. And not everyone gets that red pill moment where they realize, okay, you know, your country is kind of important to you for these matters anyway. Know the country you're going to, know the laws of that country. And when you get caught for it, that is on you. Unfortunately, that is on her. You got caught with an illegal substance in, I mean, Probably 90% of countries around the world, it is illegal to carry THC oil, especially internationally. I mean, people get caught for taking wrong foods and things like that to different countries. So for her to think she should get different treatment, I don't think so. I mean, give her like a month in prison or something because it is different laws there. And you got to somehow learn to respect those laws. So just because in America you get a slap on the wrist doesn't mean around the whole world you do. But yet again, I'll digress. I hope you did enjoy the video. Leave a like if you did. Leave a comment with your thoughts. Do you agree, disagree? And then also subscribe if you do want to see my future videos. But thanks for watching and hopefully I shall see you on the next one.